And let's quickly walk through and we'll, we'll see if you know a couple of these shift sister shortcuts already and then I'll demo a couple of them for you. So here's a pretty easy, straightforward one. If control G is to group, what do you think it's shift sister shortcut control shift G will do? All right, it's gonna ungroup. So this is a situation we are basically inversing the command and this is the same shortcut, all right, control shift G that I use to ungroup SmartArt. So if you have a SmartArt graphic that you use to power crop your photos, PowerPoint's gonna give you all the shapes. It's gonna become as a smart art graphic. You can use this shortcut to very quickly break that group apart down into shapes, lines, and text boxes that you have full formatting control over. Let's look at another set of Shift Sister shortcuts. So if Control D is to duplicate an object, and I'm gonna show you in just a second its hidden jump feature, what do you think Control Shift D would do? If we duplicate an object, hopefully it won't inverse and unduplicate an object. In this case, it's going to duplicate your slide. So in this case, you're extending the command and I highly recommend memorizing both of these keyboard shortcuts. And let me just quickly show you them um, in action and why. So first off, if I grab something, I'm just gonna grab a rectangle and I control D to duplicate it, which is twice as fast as a copy and paste, the hidden jump feature is if I move this down, all right, if I move it down a little bit and I control shift D again, PowerPoint is gonna move that object the same distance and the same direction that I last moved it. And let me just align these to the left. The, I can do this with Control D, all right, columns information. I can very quickly walk, I'm just hitting Control D, 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 to walk things across my slide. You can walk them down, you can walk them left and right, et cetera. So that is the hidden jump feature of Control D. So if I take an object, I'll even do these, Control D to duplicate, I move them down, Control D to duplicate again. You can see that I can very quickly build out my slide using the Control D keyboard shortcut. Now the next one, just as a quick shift sister shortcut, is duplicate slides. So if I'm working on a slide and I want to um, rearrange something or try a different layout, I can just hit Control Shift D, watch over here on the left, Control Shift D is going to automatically create a duplicate of that slide that I can then rearrange, I could, um, I could reformat it, I could change the white, I could do any sort of number of things to it, and instead of trying to control Z back to the original, all I need to do is delete it because I duplicated the slide. So Control Shift D, in my mind, is your insurance policy that allows you to very quickly iterate over whatever layout you're doing. When I was working with my bosses, they would typically want to see two, three, four layouts for the same slide deck. So I would give them, you know, one, two, three options. They would say, I like this one best, and I would just delete the other one. So I would just control D to duplicate those slides, give them the choice. They were then involved and they loved it. Let's look at another one. There's another cool set, especially if you have a small laptop and you're you know, you need to work on the plane. So if control F1 collapses the ribbon, what do you think control shift plus F1 does? It's going to hide the ribbon. This is again is extending um, the keyboard shortcut. Let me just quickly show this to you. So you can see my ribbon up top on my screen. If I hit Control F1, it's gonna basically collapse the ribbon into the, into the different groups. Now if I come up and click the different groups, if I double click it and um, undoes the shortcut, Control F1 again, my groups will open, but as soon as I click away, the groups um, collapse. You can also see my quick access toolbar and we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. So Control F1 will either open or collapse, this is called collapse the ribbon. If I hit Control Shift F1, I essentially hide the ribbon and my quick access toolbar. And I'm gonna show you a little bit later how you can not only hide the thumbnail, but then if you Control Shift F1 and you hide your ribbon, it essentially looks like I'm now presenting in presentation mode, but in fact, this is still just the normal view. Control Shift F1 will bring the, that back. If I just click this normally, we'll bring the, the slide thumbnail back. Um, and we'll talk about a power hybrid shortcut for how to hide that um, in a little in a minute. So that's Control F1 to collapse and hide your ribbon. Another good one here, or I guess this is you can you can judge whether it's good or not. If Control J is to justify text, what do you think Control Shift J would do? In this case, it regroups a set of objects. So Control Shift J actually um, should go with Control G and Control Shift G for the group, ungroup, regroup. That's a way that you can quickly reform a group of objects without having to select them all again um, and regroup them. So this is just an example of sometimes a shift sister shortcut will do something completely different. How about F5 for uh, starting a slideshow from the beginning of your presentation? What do you think shift F5 will do? It'll start the slideshow from your current slide. So again, extending a command. This is a keyboard shortcut I personally use maybe 
25 times whenever I'm working in PowerPoint. I will build a slide and I will immediately hit Shift F5 to see what it looks like um, in presentation mode. You can click, all right, you have this slideshow command at the bottom, which a lot of people, maybe, I guess not a lot of people know, but Shift F5 is just even faster with your left hand. I'm just hitting Shift F5. I won't hit F5 because that will start the presentation from the beginning. Now, one last set, so that's F5 and Shift F5. I highly recommend having those both in your shortcut arsenal. Another really good set of Shift Sister shortcuts that I think everyone should learn is the Control C and Control V. It's just your normal hold, hold shortcut for copy and paste. What do you think Control Shift C and Control Shift V do? Control Shift C is going to pick up your formatting better than the Format Painter, and Control Shift V is going to paste that formatting. And let me just quickly demo this. So if I throw in, I will type, I've got caps locks on, I will type some text, I will control D to duplicate it. So if I'm working on this presentation and this is what my client sent me, I can, I can select an object, control shift C to copy and just control shift V to paste it. I can then do anything I want inside a PowerPoint whenever I wanna use it again, I simply select something, control shift V to paste it. If all of a sudden I realize I need the formatting of this, control shift C to copy, control shift V to paste, and then I can jump around within my presentation and that formatting that you've copied will stick with you until you go and pick up a new block of formatting. So that's control shift C and control shift V. And the reason that is particularly important here in PowerPoint is in PowerPoint, Formatting can eat up 40% of more of your time in the program. So formatting text, shape fill, shape outlines, transparency, shape outline weights, et cetera, charts, tables, everything needs formatting. So when I teach PowerPoint or talk about PowerPoint, to the extent that you can format once and reuse often and using these keyboard shortcuts that I just showed you, and by that I mean you want to get your formatting down, so your shape fills, your, your text size, your text color, your shape outline weights, etc. You wanna format them once, and you wanna reuse that object formatting as much as possible. The last thing you wanna do is go back on the wheel and reformat things over and over and over and over again, because it's just gonna chew through your time, and re it's really, um, it's just really annoying, all right? So to the extent you can, you wanna format once and reuse often, and this is probably one of the best keyboard shortcuts, these two, Control Shift C, Control Shift V, that will save you the most time when doing that. With that, that wraps up the base foundation of our hold shortcuts, which will allow us to move up the ladder. And again, your Shift Sister shortcuts, again, are just adding a Shift key. This is what makes them so powerful. They're easy to learn. It's going to inverse or extend for the majority of your shortcuts. And just remember, you do need to hold these down, and sometimes they don't do anything.